Like all organs in the body, the heart needs a constant supply of blood. This is supplied by the coronary arteries. These arteries wrap around the outside of the heart. Coronary artery disease is caused by plaque buildup in the wall of the coronary arteries. Plaque is made up of cholesterol deposits. That causes the inside of the arteries to narrow over time. A coronary angioplasty is a procedure used to widen blocked or narrowed coronary arteries without open heart surgery. First, the doctor will numb the skin, which means you'll be awake during the procedure. A needle will be placed through the skin into one of your arteries through an incision through your groin, wrist, or arm. A thin, flexible guide will be inserted through the needle into the artery up to your heart via the arterial system. Once at the heart, a flexible tube called a catheter will be advanced through the wire to your coronary arteries. Then the guide wire will be removed and a contrast dye will be injected through the tube. This special dye makes it possible for the X-ray device called fluoroscopy to identify the blockages in the artery. If significant blockages are found, the doctor will insert the guide wire delivering a small balloon to the affected section of the artery. This then is inflated to widen the artery, squashing fatty deposits against the artery wall. A stent looks like a tiny coil of wire mesh supports the walls of your artery and helps prevent it from re-narrowing after angioplasty. The stent is then collapsed around the balloon at the tip of the catheter and is guided through the blockage. When the balloon is inflated, the stent expands and locks into place inside the artery. It will stay there permanently to hold it open and improve blood flow to your heart. Once the stent is in place, the balloon catheter is deflated and removed. Most stents implanted during an angioplasty are drug-coated. The medication in the stent is slowly released to help prevent future plaque buildup and the re-narrowing of the blood vessel.